Uh, you know, we are, we are seeing disappointing data, as we just mentioned. Consumer confidence has disappointed. We'll get another read on that this week. But spending by consumers, by and large, I mean, ha has held up. I mean, look at these retail reports uh, of the past yeah. two weeks, really strong across the board. Yeah, I mean, I think um, look, look, it's kind of the story we've written a couple times a week now for the last several weeks because there is this dichotomy out there. You have all this consumer confidence data, uh, which is it's a it's a survey where you go around, you ask people, how do you feel about the economy? What are you thinking about the economy right now? And that data has come in quite weak, notably weak. Some of the weakest that we've seen um, really during this recovery and, and some of the largest month on month drops, at least the U University of Michigan um, sentiment. Uh, index, and one of the largest drops that we've seen, um, you know, over the last 50 years. And we're looking here at the conference board's consumer confidence data, which has told a little bit of a different story. We'll get that data later this week, so it'll be notable to see, you know, how that comes in. But um, sort of as as only he can, right? Neil Dutta over at Renaissance Macro with a, a great note on Friday. Uh, <laughs> saying while the usual suspects waste their time combing through the University of Michigan data, uh, he pointed to the Chicago Fed retail sales report, which we highlighted in the morning brief. 2.4% gain in retail sales in August is implied by that data. And that data is a real-time tracker of actual spending, I think is really Neil's point. This is what people are doing. The, the, the University of Michigan consumer sentiment data is what people are saying. And we all know that those two things can be quite out of step for some time. You might say, oh, I'm concerned about inflation. I'm concerned about my job. I'm concerned about the Delta variant. And those things may well be true. But if you're going to Home Depot every weekend and you're going to Walmart to stock up for the back to school shopping season, you're going to a Target, um, you know, you're buying pet food online on Chewy, like that, the credit card doesn't lie, right? And I think that that's sort of where we're at in this conversation. And look at, you know, Sazi, what we've gone through on this program for the last several weeks consistently. I mean, how many executives in the apparel and the retail space do we need to hear talk about how strong the consumer backdrop is? I just pulled out a couple examples. Uh, I just pulled out Best Buy, Dick's Sporting Goods, and The Gap in today's story. But I could have gone through Target and Walmart and Express, even Macy's. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. That's where people go to shop. And everyone who runs those stores say that the consumer is in great shape. So even though people are telling the University of Michigan, I'm worried about this, I'm worried about the other, uh, that's not how they're acting. And I think right now we have to err on the side of what are people doing and focusing on that for a read on the economy rather than what are people saying about you know, their fears and anxieties relative to this economic moment. Miles, they're just not going to Kohl's. Let them go to Macy's, they're just not going to Kohl's. <laughs> but you know what, what we've heard consistently the past two and a half weeks, really it is, uh, from a lot of executives and a lot of folks that I've talked to, incomes are up. That is uh, gives consumers a good place to get out there and shop day to day, but also to save. The savings rate is up pretty substantially, and it is at a very high level versus historical trends. So not only do they have consumers appear to be able to spend uh, a little more aggressively, I think, day to day because of those incomes, you know, on the weekend, maybe they are out there splurging. They're dipping into their savings to buy things that they have not been able to buy the past year and a half, or, or they just want to buy something new. They've been in their house for so long, they, they just want to go out and mm -hmm. buy something. Yeah, if there's something we know Americans love to do is spend money, right? Retail therapy is a punchline, but it's also a real thing. Oh, it's and I think we've such certainly, a good feeling. It's such a good feeling. We've certainly seen that love show it. up this year.